splendor of a king, clothing majesty. Let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to trembles at his voice and trembles at his voice how great is our God sing with me how great is our God and all will sing how great how great is our God Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and so we'll see how great, how great. Hello, CCF Feliz, CCF Nanka, and CCF Gateway. What a wonderful series that we've started. We're talking about God's design for the family that started last Sunday. And you know what? I'd like to tell you a story how God's design for the family, for the parents, for the husband and the wife, how that uh, lesson affected my wife and I and our entire family. You see, my wife and I got married when we were very young. I was 21 and she was 20. And we started 
a family. But there was a problem. I did not know what God's design for me as a husband was. My wife did not know what her role as a godly wife was. So what happened? It resulted in many quarrels, conflicts. Why? Because we did not know each other's role and we were blaming each other for the things that we were not doing. And as the children came, you know, we have five children. And when they started coming, we did not know our roles as parents, as, as, as a father, as a mother. And in my mind, my role as a father was just to provide, to pay the tuition fees. And if there was something wrong that the children were doing, if there was something wrong that they were saying, it was my wife's fault. It was the fault of the school. It was the fault of the TV. Because I did not know what my role as a father was. I did not know what God's design for me and for the entire family. But I thank the Lord. When we accepted Jesus Christ into our hearts and we started learning about God's design for the family, and I started realizing what my role as a father was, as a husband, then I started to realize the many mistakes that I made the many things I had to improve, the many things that I had to change. And then I realized, in order for God's design for the family to be accomplished in our life, I needed to look at myself. What was God's design for me? As a husband, as a father, and I realized, to be the leader of the family, to be a loving servant, to serve my family, to disciple my children, to teach them about the ways of the Lord. So I address all of you, fathers and mothers. We need to realize God's design for the family. God's design for the parents, for the husband, for the wife. God's design for the father, for the mother. I ask you, join us, the Motivate series for God's design for the family. Pastor Peter is going to teach us where we can start. It's not too late. Just as I realized many years ago, it's not too late. We can start today. So I encourage you, for this week, just one simple practice, one simple activity that we can start this week. Go to your wife, go to your husband and tell them, appreciate them. You know, honey, I am so thankful to the Lord that you are my spouse. Very easy to do, but very difficult with our pride. Bring down our pride. And then you go to your children to realize God's design for the family, start today. Again, it's not too late. There may be many hurts. There may be many disappointments already with the family. But we can start today. Go to your children. Tell them, I appreciate you. Tell them, thank you that you are my son. That's a very easy assignment. God bless all of you, and I hope to see you again this Sunday as we watch the Motivate series of CCF. God bless all of you.